guys, welcome back to Kiwi's Power Explore. So today, Jensen train. That's actually a train. Somewhere there, I don't know if you can see it. You can hear it. But um, yeah, so today we are in a huge, huge, huge cemetery. I was looking on the maps and I thought, what is that? Zoomed in and this place is huge, but you can only drive to a certain uh, distance to the back. So there is a few people here. We've come to sort of the middle back end um as you can tell it just goes on and on and on behind me here as you can see there are loads here and also loads here that go right down now this area here is the world uh, world war one and world war two um area so we are going to have a little wander through here and uh see what we get so be my eyes be my ears as usual guys and uh yeah hopefully we get something through let's get into it i don't know if you can see on the phone i have got ghost tube on so i would just have a little look i'll keep that on to see if we get any words come through so we've got a George, a John, another George, a Thomas. Um, what's that one say? HMS Eastbourne, 12th November 1960, aged 22. Uh, at the bottom it says, at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember that's a nice little saying actually uh, I've got quite a few on. some of these haven't got them and some of them have just noticed one over there's got one these ones haven't got the little sayings underneath we've got George pensioner PO, uh, oh, private RM pensioner Stoker PO pensioner, Chief Shipwright pensioner. So he was 77, he was 83, 82, 79, 22 at the end, like we said. 78 CPO pensioner. These are all sort of 60s, I think. Yeah, 60. Hot. hot. So we've got hot. Is it a hot day today? It's nice and sunny today, though. It's under the cloud at the moment. I've got another there. What's this one? So this one is BP B no PP Battelle Battelli or Battelle something uh, Abel Seaman HMS Len Lender Le in loving memory of Brian, accidentally killed, 30th of September, 1964, age 19. Oh, so young, it's so horrible. Uh, we've got a Charles. I like to read the names out because if we do get names come through, we can be like, oh, you know, sail maker. Uh, so that's a William. We've got a Neville. Uh, a lot of these are all like pensioner, so like surgeon, sergeant, RM. Sailmaker, 16, uh, 16, 1963, 1962, 74, 84, 92 is Thomas, who was uh, leading seaman, 87, at 61. Don't go near, don't go near, gents. No, off, 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 off. Uh, here in peace lies William Devon Raymond, Commander Royal Australian Navy, who died 18th of September 1960, aged 53. So we're going to head down because there's a few sort of like big pillars down there that I want to read. You okay? No. So, Fly. so yeah, there are loads and loads and loads. But we're going to head down here. Nothing come through yet. If there's any spirits here, anyone that would like to communicate, can you give me a word? Using a device in my hand. Let me know you're here. Oh, look how cool that is. Amazing. How amazing is that? So 
So here we've got the name Lift Forevermore. Um, so yes, there's a load of names on here, which we're not going to go through, but yeah. So, so, so many. Um, I will put Necrophonic on now. So bear with me guys, bear with, bear with. Okay, as you can tell on here, we are getting one to two. Obviously I can't put Necrophonic on or anything because it's all on the phone. I am screen recording, but last time the sound didn't record. I don't know why, so this is why I've got the camera on as well. Wow. Is that your grave? I look like they're dancing. Oh, that one's moved. The second one has moved. Jensen, go away. Is there two of you? Oh, you can... oh. Can you hold it? Was you killed in the war? So I'm trying <laughs> try to do both. Yes, it's on this grave. I'm just going to move around and see. Can you stand this side? Ernest. Ernest Henry Johnson, Seaman Pembroke, 23 years old, died 20th of February 1927. Ernest, are you here? Can you stand at this side of your grave, please? Show yourself this side. I think the cross next to it, it was kind of picking up another one. I think that's Jonathan. Oh, 
Oh, got another one just then. Who else is here? Can you stand by your stone? Your gravestone? Oh. So that is Francis. Okay, guys, so I've just had a figure which you would have seen uh, Francis Brown, which, what's it say? Sick birth attendant, RN hospital, um, July. Uh, died July 1927, age 29 years. So I was getting a proper figure, moving arms and legs, everything. So I've got the necrophonic now. So let's put it on. Sorry about the wind. Francis, if you're here, can you say hello? Francis, did I just see you just now? Are you standing at your gravestone? Are you standing in front of it? Behind it? Yes. Can you tell me how old you are? How did you die, Francis? So I thought I'd be quiet for a minute, just see what we got. So I'm going to come no. over here. Gone. Gone. Who's gone? I'm quite cold now, stood over here. Who else is here? Can you tell me your name? Liam? I'm not sure, it's hard to hear with the wind. Leo? Are you lost? Is Ernest here? Possible, yes. Ernest, would you stand in near your gravestone just now? Yes. I'm trying to keep my hand around the mic, so hopefully the wind's not too bad. Just looking at the names. Do you know that you're dead? Yes. Do loved ones come and visit you? Some. Some. I think that was some. No. Yes, not sure. A mix. Which we would have because obviously you look how many graves there are. Get down. So I'm just going to wander down here because I've got another little. I say little. It's not little. I've got another section here of the white ones with the green stones. Right, it's poo there, don't tread on the poo. Yeah. 
without showing too much there's a Crowley there that one there Kathleen Crowley Could I just say a huge, huge thank you and the respect that I have for all of you that put your life on the line for our country during the war. You are very, very brave. Okay, so I've got more names on this board. Marine cadets. No, age. 10, 11, 12, 9, 8, 11, 10, 13, 12, 13. Jesus. Oh, that makes me so sad. Shoes. Sit, you sit. We're not going to look to the left because there's a lot of baby and kid ones there. This is a nice, nice one here. the glory of God and in sacred memory of all those who gave their lives for their country during the air raid oh, me, by the enemy on the Royal Navy Barracks 3rd of September 1917 we're going to follow down here Can you tell me if you were scared in the war? Was you scared going to war? Yes. Did you lose friends? Dead, yes you are. I'm afraid. It's huge. And we've got workers down down at the entrance so right guys before we head off to the other side so we're not totally just in the war zone. Oh god that doesn't sound good does it? But you know what I mean. Just want to show you this big part in the middle that I missed. So uh yeah it says to the honoured memory of 70 sailors of HMS Bulwark but yeah, 10 of HMS Princess Irene and Bertie Clary, a skilled labourer of HM Dockyard, all of whom lost their lives through the internal explosion of the two ships off Sheerness and lie buried here. Oh, how sad. Are any of the 70 sailors here? Yes. Could you tell me your name? Did I just say Bertie? Did you say Bertie? So that was a yes. It sounded like Bertie. I know sometimes when you go back and edit, you're like, didn't say anything like it. <laughs> Irene, are you here? Princess Irene and Bertie Clary. Can you tell me what happened?
How did you die? Was there an explosion? Okay, what we're gonna do guys, I'm gonna head over to the normal graves uh, because we spent quite a bit of time here now at the war graves. Um, but I just find them fascinating. And most places like cemeteries and places you go to, they don't have this much this is so big so i thought we'd spend a little bit of time there plus it's a bit different on the channel um to sort of do all the war and um oh it's a no <laughs> i forgot the name so i think i'll cut through here it's a nice sunny day so the video will probably be a little bit long but hopefully you guys will stick around and watch um, so I think there is people up there so we do have to be careful where and obviously the dates and stuff but just a little bit further across the, the fields there um, look like some old ones so yeah you can take them home see when the sun comes out um, see what we get so I'm going to head down there Hello spirits. <coughs> Is there anyone here that would like to talk to me? Can you tell me your name? My name is Melissa, also known as Kiwi. Looks bad. <laughs> Can you say my name? Hello. Are you at peace? Yeah. Yeah. Won't you? Yeah, in a minute. Did you have any animals when you were alive? Are you video bombing? What animals did you have? Tell me what animals. Are you heartbroken? Sounded like heartbroken. We'll go with it. Get it, son. No. Don't touch. Are you with your loved ones? Do they visit you? Do you miss your animals? Yes. No. 
So guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, kids are getting bored now and uh, I can't run out of questions. <laughs> but I do go quiet sometimes because I like to see what comes through, what they might say, things like that. So I'm here because of the car. Good boy, that's it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed. I hope, I hope we have got some um, communication and things. And um, the SLS, look, choo choo. The SLS, um, obviously we caught a few figures, so that was quite cool. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy it looking back at that. Hopefully the sound recorded this time. If it hasn't, well, you'd already seen anyway, because it would already been up, but I'm gonna love you and leave you until our next explore and investigation, which is gonna be an awesome video next week. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, notification bell on, comment down below, leave a like, and uh, we'll see you on another Parrot Explore, guys. Spooks you later.